Hello everyone. Welcome to another open SAP micro learning for SAP S4 HANA Cloud Professional Services. My name is Shilpa and I'm a product manager for SAP S4 HANA. In this micro learning, we will focus on project billing. And as you might know by now, flexible material determination is one of the key highlights of project billing. Therefore, let's see with a short video how material determination can be set up by maintaining project billing profile. Let's get started. To be able to carry out material determination, you must start by having a project billing profile. To do this, let's select Manage Your Solution app and then select Configure Your Solution and search Project Billing. Here you can see Maintain Project Billing Profile, click on Configure. You can create a project billing profile with name CMPRJBL001 and you can maintain this profile for all material configuration related to project billing. For the purpose of demo, a billing profile has already been created and some of the material determination settings are maintained. Please note that in starter systems, some demo data is already provided, however, not in Q and P systems. Let's first look at T materials. Let's select new entries and enter 1010. For correct billing, both quantities and costs need to be transferred. And now let's enter T007 as our material. At this stage, additional specific criteria that enables material determination can be defined. So let's select it and then click on Project Billing Material Determination tab. We will now select New Entry and click on Field Name and select Activity Type as the field name and enter T007 as the value. Let's then add GL account. And then enter YBPS underscore T000 and save. In this case, a posting to a certain account with an indication of a certain activity type will lead to a determination of our material T007. Instead of specifying a particular GL account, we use a cost element group as a superior object. This means that posting to any account assigned to the cost element group YBPS underscore T000 is relevant for this material determination process. So through an additional attribute activity type T007, we establish an unambiguous assignment to the T007 material. Next up, e-material determination. Let's select add new entries and then enter 2005. And I will select E005 as my material. For expense material determination, we would only need costs to be transferred to the billing as we do not measure or count expenses and are not interested in the quantities. Now let's select it and then click on Project Billing Material Determination tab. And we will again select New Entry. And I will click on GL Account as field name and enter YBPS underscore E005 as the set name. For the material determination, we are indicating a certain cost element group. A posting to an account assigned to this cost element group, that is in this example, YBPS underscore E005, will ensure that material E005 will be determined as a billing material. Next, coming to H and L materials. For hardware and license materials, quantities as well as costs are relevant for the billing. Similar to time materials, the cost element group to which the relevant cost account is assigned must be maintained. In this example, all the postings to any account assigned to the cost element group YBPS underscore H000 will lead to a H001 material. 
It is, however, also possible to maintain a more granular material determination according to your business needs. The same logic is also applied for license materials. Next up, U material. U materials or the usage based billing materials also requires transfer of both costs and quantities and the setup is similar to time related billing meaning indicating a cost element group with a GL account as an attribute and activity type. Alternatively, a material, as in this example, can be used as an attribute, depending on how the posting of actuals is carried out. Finally, S material determination. The setup and material determination principle for S materials, which represents purchase services, is the same as E materials. So that was a very short demo with which we learned how material determination can be set up. For further learning, do check out our offerings on OpenSAP. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for updates.